Oh boy, here we are. Um, hey, this is Master Tully here. He's a he's a oh, I'm like kicking that thing. He's a native speaker. Native meaning native to Southern Africa. Yeah, one of those guys. I am an African that was, you know, transported. Uh, yeah, transported and raised in, you know. But I'm here. But I'm here now. <laughs> See how he translates? Hey, it's a different kind of translation. Anyway, but we're uh, <coughs> welcome to Sunday sermon. We're, 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 we're dealing with Mr. Oh, he's going to go to politics this year, this week. You know, because now it's politics time. Polit politics time, yeah. Because elections next year for a bunch of people. Next year. So yeah, both both here in Southern care. Africa and yeah, yeah. Muleni, se funa ngo diga Mr. Nene fula the junior. He edition ya ki ukala a ngo di eti United Independent Independent Compulsory Code System Concept textbook. Lena kanya ngo di. For Gutringa, Ugutata, no Benza, for Amakoba, Ezobantunuga, a white supremacist. Um, do I look at that? Oh, only full junior. So, what did Kume on a nineteen eighty? If I can get a word in edgewise here, right? Okay. He started talking his, in his mother tongue, he just keep on going. What he was saying is that we read from Mr. Neely Fuller's uh, nineteen eighty four edition of his. Uh, this tome, the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, is a, uh, a, uh, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action uh, for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. Uh, we define it as con yeah. con con colonization, nice. but that's because we're, we're, you know, he wrote this in 84 and it's been revised in 19, what, 19, no, 19, in, in 20, it, it, he wrote, no, he wrote in 84, it was revised in 2017, 17, okay. I think, somewhere, somewhere around there. Yeah. And you also got a word guy. That's all one, one book. Anyway, so so we read weekly from uh, from from his from his tome. Now, I thought you was doing politics. Yeah, politics. Oh, that boy done lost the page. Oh, 162. Oh, he put it he in his brain. Know. See, use your brain. He put it in his brain. So there you know, it's 162. Now you got to find it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So what, what, how, how far am I going to read? Here to here. Just to the end. Yeah. yeah. But this is not because yeah, it's not a oh, it's not an end. Ooh. Ooh. We'll see what happens. Let's yeah. let's start and see what goes okay. on. Okay? Okay. Okay, just so you know, so I don't you'll see what happens. Just just follow us, right? Oh, yeah. Mr. Dilly Floyd Jr. puts the thing like that. He makes a statement and it's usually in bold like that, and then under the statement he gives explanation for his statement. Okay. Here we go. Help give the word Love. It's correct meaning. Avoid using the word love to describe any feeling or condition uh, now in existence. Now, the reason his explanation for this is uh, uh, avoid using the word love to describe any feelings or conditions uh, now in existence. Mm -hmm. And he says that love is speech and or action that produce a result. Let's see what else he has to say about this. Okay. Love is speech and or action that results in the use of truth. In a manner that definitely promotes the practice of justice and correctness at all times. In all places, in, in all areas of activity, area of activities, including 
And here's where Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. explains the nine areas or identifies the nine areas of human activity. And these activities include economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, which is the section that we're talking about now, religion, sex, and war. War, counter war. Uh, when we do our Sunday sermons, we don't deal with the, the, the area of sex. In Dimbaza, um, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has a, a broadcast as a transmission he has every Tuesday from the States, from the East Coast. Where he will deal with that area. But he doesn't do with the area or, or as when he's, as he's transmitting from the United States on, on war, counter war. We do. <laughs> we leave the sex alone, we deal with the war. Okay, then we these days. Okay. The word love has incorrectly. Incorrectly been used to describe too many different conditions in too many different ways. In the known universe, it is incorrect to pretend that love is being practiced by any person, animal, insect, place, or thing, etc. In the known universe, it is incorrect to pretend that love is being practiced by any person, animal, insect, place, or a thing, etc. All people, animals, insects, etc. in the known universe function through the practice and support of falsehood, injustice, and incorrectness. Whoa. So, by doing, it is not possible for them at the same time to practice love. Oh, I understand now what you're saying. Okay. Only by eliminating falsehood, injustice, incorrectness from the universe from the known universe can love be produced. Well, it sounds like this mm. politics is turning to something else. Mm. Let's see. Um, uh, people have said and or done many things in the name of what uh, the, uh, they said was. And, go ahead. Abandu, bateta besenza izinto izinintsi. Eka min logu babesiti denza nintu bainzai. And others accept it as being love. People have killed people who have said they loved. People have kept other persons from speaking or acting constructively in the name of love. 
Males have unjustly subjugated females in the name of love. People have robbed and stolen in the name of love. Sexual intercourse has oft times been referred to as making love. People have lied in the name of love. Therefore, to compensate for the confusion that has resulted from so much use in its best for each person to try to give the word a meaning that is specific and constructive. So let's leave it there for now. I know it's this one is kind of, uh, I won't say confusing, but it's all over the place. Yeah. And you'll just have to, as we say, marinate over it till we come to our, our next session. Talk to you soon. Sabona, late.